Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, we are just going to quickly discuss um, a mistake that a lot of newbie image processors, uh, people that are new to astrophotography and they're processing their data, um, trying to make their images look pretty, a lot of people I see online, a lot of people doing this, and they can actually improve their image. They can actually make it look better if they avoid this one problem. Uh, what is that problem? Well, it's making the background too dark, or you're clipping the black point and you're losing details in the image. I'm using my own data for this, and uh, I'm going to show you how it should look and what is happening, what I see happening out there. So if we take a look at this image here, we've got um, the horse head and the flame nebula. This is an image I took um, of this region of space, and this is a fabulous region of space. I love this region of space. Um, it is just wonderful to image. I never get enough of it. So what we see here is if we open up the histogram transformation tool and we uh, reset things, what we're going to see is um, let's do a preview window and we'll just increase this size a little bit, just like that, just a little bit. Um, so what's happening is people are doing this to their images. They're basically uh, producing a background that is uh, black, it's too dark, and you're losing all sorts of fine details, uh, faint details that are in the image by doing this. Um, this could be a combination of factors. It could be the way that they're processing the data. It can also be uh, their monitor is just not calibrated properly for um, how the image is going to look to other people on other image on other uh, on other devices, be it a computer screen or a mobile device. Um, so this is these are things that you got to be aware of and you got to understand. But I can address, at least I can address the background and the darkness of it and how to avoid that. So to stretch the image, um, we, uh, we can inevitably cause the background to get too dark. Um, and we don't want to do that. So the one thing that you want to avoid doing is the black point. Um, you want to make sure that you don't lower it too much. So you don't want to cut in to your curve, okay? If you're starting to cut into it, and you can see you cut into it, you can cut into it fairly early on. Um, right about there, you can already see it starting to uh, cut into it. And we can see that down here, actually, that we're cutting into the black point. So we're clipping at this point, and we don't want to clip. So the one thing you don't want to do is, is keep, your, keep your background a little brighter um, than what you might think uh, looks good. You might think that the darker background looks good, but it actually doesn't, and it's working against you in a lot of cases in terms of that faint detail. Uh, we want to see that faint detail. We've uh, spent a lot of time capturing data. Uh, we don't want to waste anything. So if you're adjusting your black point and you see that you're getting into your curve a little bit, then you're starting to clip and you're starting to make your background too dark, and you don't want to do that. So keep that slider over and always monitor the black point down here in the histogram transformation tool. That'll give you a really good indicator early on if you're starting to clip. So if we look at here, um, I'm starting to clip already and I'm not actually cut into the, um, I haven't really cut fully into the, uh, the curve. So um, I want to avoid doing that. So I'm just going to bring it back a bit until it says zero and I know that I'm not clipping. I have darkened the background a little, but I haven't been too aggressive with it that it looks unnatural or that it's clipping the black point. So just a quick tip, something to be aware of. Hopefully that helps some people. Um, again, try to avoid making the background too dark. We don't want it black like this. That's not natural looking. There's a fine balance with it that exists and we want to make sure that we get the best possible outcome for our image since we put so much effort into taking these pictures. Um, we want to make sure that uh, our processing doesn't ruin any of the data or uh, cause us to lose some of that data, some of that information, because we want all of the information we can possibly get in terms of um, processing the image so that we get the best possible image when we're done. So just watch those uh, black points um, out there, whether you're using Photoshop or you're using PixInsight, the same principle applies. Um, you've got a black point, a gray point, and a white point on your histogram uh, transformation tool. 
Okay, so that's the tip for today for PixInsight. I know that some of the more experienced image processors out there probably are aware of this already and avoid the problem, but there's a lot of people that have gotten into astrophotography and astro image processing with the uh, pandemic that's been ongoing. Um, the hobby has uh, really taken off and uh, there is a lot of people that are looking to learn and maybe aren't aware of this. So I'm hoping that this reaches those people and uh, is helpful. Thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll see you again. If you like my channel and you enjoy these videos, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. Don't forget to like and don't forget to leave a comment. Always great to hear from you guys. Take care and clear skies.